If you need to install Windows 11 on a new PC that you just built or onto a new SSD in your current PC, then this video is for you. This entire process only requires a couple things. You're gonna need a PC with internet access and a USB flash drive with at least eight gigabytes capacity. What you need to do is head over to microsoft.com software dash download. Select the version of Windows you want to install. In this video, we're going with Windows 11. That's gonna take you to this page here where you have three different options to choose from. The one we want is the second option, create Windows 11 installation media. Click download now. That's gonna download the Windows media creation tool that lets us create a bootable version of Windows 11 on our USB flash drive. Now, plug in your USB flash drive and run the Windows media creation tool. It's gonna to ask you to accept the software license terms. Next, you can select your preferred language and don't worry about the Windows edition that you want to install because the only option here is Windows 11. Now we have to tell it what type of media we want to use. We're selecting USB flash drive. Again, there's a little reminder there to tell you that it needs to be at least eight gigabytes capacity. Next, it's gonna show you a list of the available USB flash drives connected to your system. I've only got the one that I'm planning to use connected, so it's really easy, I just select that. And this is the point of no return for any data on your flash drive, so make sure you backed anything up that's important and then click next. Now the tool's gonna to do some work and create your installation media. It takes a few minutes and you can absolutely keep using your PC while it does its thing. When it's done, click finish and you're ready to go. Before we go any further, I just wanna mention that it's best to have only the drive you plan to install Windows on connected to your system during the installation process. This is to prevent Windows from incorrectly installing the bootloader on a different drive and to make sure you don't accidentally select the wrong drive during installation and wipe out all your data. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Now, take the USB flash drive that you just set up the Windows 11 installer on and plug it into your new PC. Turn the PC on and it should boot up and take you right to the Windows setup screen. If it doesn't, restart the PC and keep pressing the delete key during the startup sequence to enter the system BIOS. Navigate over to the boot menu and change the first boot option to your USB flash drive. And if your BIOS has a boot override setting, you can also just use that. Either way, save your changes by pressing F10, restart the PC, and then you should get here. This is the starting point for the Windows 11 installation process. There's some options here for the language, the time and currency format, and keyboard layouts. When you're happy with all this stuff, click next and hit install now. This is where you enter your product key, but it's optional at this point. So if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can use Windows 11 absolutely free with a watermark, or you can purchase a key and enter it later if you want. I'm gonna click I don't have a product key and just skip it for now. We have to pick the edition of Windows 11 that we want. Most general home PC users are gonna be fine with Windows 11 Home. Keep in mind, whatever you pick here is gonna to need to match the product key if you plan to enter one later. For example, if you select Pro, you won't be able to activate it later with a home key. Next, we have to accept some more software license terms. And now we arrive at this screen where we have to pick the installation type. Since we're installing on a new PC, we're gonna pick the second option, custom install. Now we have to select where to install Windows. This is the part that gets confusing if you have more than one drive connected like I do here. You're gonna need to make sure you select the right one, otherwise you could destroy all the data on any existing drive. If you only had one drive connected, this screen would be super clean and easy with only one option. But if you have more than one like this, you need to pick the right one. For me, it's drive three with 232 gigabytes of unallocated space. All right, now Windows is installing on your new PC. It'll restart a couple times during the process. That's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. Just let it do its thing. Eventually, you're gonna get to this screen where you'll pick your settings and finalize the installation. Select your country or region, confirm your preferred keyboard layout, and you can add a second layout if you want to, or just click skip. Next, it's gonna connect you to the internet. If your system doesn't wanna connect, you might need to install a network driver first. If that happens, check the description of the video down below. I'll include some instructions for you there on how to handle that. Now it's gonna have you sign into your Microsoft account and set a PIN. Then there's some privacy settings to review. You can turn some of these options off if you want. This screen asks what you plan to use your PC for. I'm just gonna skip that. This one's asking if we wanna bring our browsing data over from Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna click not now, and that's it. The system's gonna do a quick check for updates and then finish the setup process. When that's done, you'll arrive at your fresh new Windows desktop. If you got this far, congratulations, you just installed Windows 11. Now, if you didn't enter your product key during installation and your Microsoft account doesn't have one associated with it, you can activate Windows now. Open the start menu and type activate. Click on activation settings. My copy's activated because my Microsoft account has the product key attached, but you'll be able to enter yours here if it's not activated yet. And finally, if you remove some other drives for the installation process, you can shut down the PC and reinstall them now. If they're already formatted, you should be able to use them right away, but if they're new drives, you'll need to initialize them first. Open the start menu and type disk management. This tool will open up and it'll show you all the drives connected to your PC. Anything showing a black stripe and labeled as unallocated is gonna need initialization. Right click and choose new simple volume. You can give it a name and choose the drive letter. Follow the rest of the prompts and Windows will set up your new drive for you. And that's it, everything should be set up and working now. 
If you run into any issues during your installation, drop a comment down below. Hopefully either myself or someone else will be able to help you out. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content, and we'll see ya.